Hey guys, Saris here from Talking Nerd Phones, and today we are doing a speed test run between the Huawei Y9 2019 and the Nokia 6.1 Plus. Now, both of these devices are actually in line for being the best budget phone contenders for 2018. So, we thought let's put them up head to head and see how they perform. So, just looking at the specs though, the Nokia 6.1 Plus and the Y9 2019 both are having uh, 4 gigs of RAM with 64 GB internal storage. Uh, the difference comes in the processor where the Huawei Y9 is running Huawei's own high silicon 710 processor with Mali GPU while the Nokia 6.1 Plus is rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 with Adreno 509 GPU. Now both these uh, processors are actually the processors used in the mo in majority of the budget phones in 2018 and these are actually very very powerful processors for devices in this budget price range. So let's just start it up. So on the left we have the Nokia 601 Plus and on the right we have the Y9 2019. So let's begin with booting up the devices. So guys, uh, one thing to note though is that the Nokia 6.1 Plus is, is the Android 1 edition. That means that it does not have any theme on it. Uh, but the Huawei Y9 has the EMUI 8.2 theme on top of it. Uh, the Nokia 6.1 Plus on the software front also is running Android 9 Pi while the Huawei is running Android 8.1 Oreo. So guys, uh, both have started and I think both started actually at the same time. Uh, okay, so so you can see that we have some apps set up over here. So similar apps because of course we want to do an apples to apples comparison. So uh, let's just start. So first of all, let's open the phone app. Okay, so you can see that uh, Nokia kind of started off a bit more faster. Let's start messages. Yeah. Nokia kind of edged it out again. Let's start open Chrome. So yeah, uh, you can see that Chrome was a bit more fast in this. Uh, let's open the cameras. I think the Y9 was a bit faster in terms of opening the device. Uh, let's open Gmail. Sorry. Okay, Nokia kind of edged that. Let's open the Play Store. The Y9 did slightly well in this. Okay, now let's uh, go to some heavy apps such as the PlayStation. Okay. Close this here and open. So yeah, so you can see that clearly the Y9 is the winner in this race. <laughs> okay, let's close this. Uh, let's open the calculators. One, two, three, go. Okay, Y9 is doing well. So uh, you can see as we are opening more and more apps, the Y9 is kind of edging uh, this uh, race. Let's open Destiny 2. One, two, three, go. So guys, the Y9 is kind of edging in this department as well. Yeah, so this has already started. But uh, you can see that uh, uh, if you see the end of it, the Nokia was able to open everything actually slightly faster in the end. Okay, uh, let's open the Arsenal app. One, two, three, go. So of course we have an Arsenal app, Arsenal supporters. Okay, so clearly the Nokia 6.1 Plus is the clear winner over here. Uh, so the app I think kind of crashed on the Y9, which is weird. Let's open it again. So 
just wipe it off. Yeah. Let's open it again. One, two, three, go. Okay, so the app again crashed on Y9. Okay, okay. You got this one figured out. Uh, okay, let's open the Google Maps. One, two, three, go. Okay, so the Nokia clearly edged out on this one. So the, the map rendering is actually a bit faster here. So guys, you can see that uh, it is not like a clear cut uh, uh, winner right now because in some cases the Nokia is actually performing very well. In some cases the Y9 is performing very well. So let's start uh, checking out a very heavy duty game. So Hitman Sniper, as you all know, is a very, uh, very heavy game. So let's try that out. One, two, three, go. One. So they're both starting. So the Hitman here, uh, so the Nokia was actually able to render this way faster. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, let's open YouTube. One, two, three, go. Okay, so you see that even the, the uh, okay, so Y9 is definitely the winner here. Uh, the dark theme and the light theme really doesn't matter here. It's just how it's able to load it. So the theme doesn't affect the loading times. So, but yeah, you can see exactly the same thing, but the Y9 edged in this domain so let's just see how many apps we have open right now so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and you can see all the all same apps have been opened here as well okay uh let's try the camera so one two three go so the nokia edged way pa uh, past this uh, competition so the camera kind of opens a few seconds faster than the y9 uh okay guys so i'm not gonna uh, open more games because realistically speaking a, lo a lot of was out there they open like five six games and then they judge that how much uh, how well the ram management is able to hold it but on a realistic level you don't open more than one game at a time and which is running in your background so i'll just keep it till one game so far uh okay so just going in settings so one two three go so the nokia was a bit faster when it came to opening the settings uh, let's go back uh let's open the play store one two three go hmm so you can see that let's open some of the older apps we have so let's open youtube yeah that's fine so both of these devices guys they they are very buttery smooth so there's no lag even after you can see that so many apps are open in the background same with this so both the processors are actually handling it very well uh let's try snapchat of course everybody loves to use snapchat okay so the y9 kind of edged in this department so good for all you snapchat users uh but then again of course it uh, depends on the load and everything but still y9 okay great um anything else let's open the calendar one two three okay so let's just open it again yeah yeah so let's do this one more time because it wasn't set up okay one two three go yeah okay so the y9 built-in calendar is slightly faster as compared to google's camera over here uh and okay so yeah so 
even the Google, uh, so both of them have uh, Google uh, cards which pop up. So you can see that it is quite smooth either way. So you can open all of these. No lag starter here. No lag starter here. It's actually a great thing. Uh, let's see how it, it, it does when opening a website. So let's open top and right. Um, and just type it on my phone. So, so guys this is not the phone's fault this is the internet so yeah okay so let's just get into this yeah so let's open them one two three go okay so the nokia was clearly able to open the website much faster okay no lag again which is a great thing um so yeah both have their own theme going on again so many apps open for example let's open the ps store app again let's just see if it's running it's running in the background okay so both the devices loaded the apps again so of course 4 gb ram but still not bad okay so in this case the y9 was able to reload the app a bit more faster here let's try another app shall we let's open google maps yeah okay let's see okay so the nokia was able to leave google maps uh, where we had left it but the y9 had to refresh so the nokia is slightly able to manage the apps a bit more better i think this is more mainly because of the android 9 pi running on this as compared to oreo running on this because android 9 has optimized most of the apps here so it's actually quite better so other than that guys both the phones have actually performed pretty well and uh, i think uh, there is honestly no clear-cut winner between the two uh, because like you said that there is an option so what do you guys think right so let me know what you think in the comment section below that who the winner is and let us know what do you think about this uh, if you'd like uh, more videos like these then hit us up in the comment section and do give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe to our channel guys and don't forget to hit the notification bell because that really helps us and of course it'll help you uh, find out or to get uh, to know that when a new video comes out. Okay, guys, until next time, take care. Bye bye.